Hi, I'm Liz. I'm a blogger at inksblot-studios.com and I make chainmail. Today I'm going to show you how to make links, which is the first step in making chainmail. What I'm making will eventually become a lovely hefty 4-in-1 bracelet, and if you stick with me, you can make one too. To get started, you will need some materials. First up, a lap desk. The lap desk is technically optional, but highly recommended. A lap desk can be moved easily without disturbing your carefully organized piles of what your significant other will come to call your carpet caltrops. Next, you'll need knitting needles. If you plan on making several chainmail pieces, a mixed pack of several sizes is a good idea, but all we'll need for today is size 9. You'll also need wire. For your first piece, buy 16 gauge copper wire. Thicker wire means larger lengths, which are easier to work with for a beginner. Copper wire is easy to find and cheap. You will also need two pair of pliers. Make sure you get the kind with smooth mouths. And one pair of wire cutters. Make sure that they all have re relatively narrow noses. Lastly, you will need a garbage bin and a link bin. These containers can be practically anything, but a sealable container for each will be a particularly good idea at a house with pets or small children. So now we're to the making. Take your wire, give yourself about a foot to work with. When you get a little more comfortable, you can take it directly from the spool, but for now this is easier. Take your knitting needle, put your wire on top, and take a nice bend around. This part is going to be your handle, and this part is going to wrap around the needle. If when you do this your handle is getting shorter, you're doing it wrong. As you go, try to keep the spacing nice and even. This will make for nice even lengths later. Yes, this part does take a while. You have some podcasts you can listen to, right? When you get to an end, wrap it as far as, as is comfortable, and then use your pliers to make it nice and tight. Take it off of your needle, and you'll notice that this last bit here is not quite round, so you're going to need to cut it off. Take your pliers and score, which is to say cut about halfway through, and then twist that bit off. It should come off pretty easily. That goes in your garbage bin, and now you have a nice flat end there. That'll be important for closing things later. Take your cutters, lay them right against that cut, score again and twist. And you have your very first link. Goes in your link bin. Lay against, score, twist. This part also takes a while. You listen to more than one podcast, right? So now all you need to do is make yourself a nice little pile of links. And next time I'll show you how to put them together. <laughs>